Good morning, everyone. I'm Councilwoman Monica Rodriguez, and it gives me tremendous pleasure to be here this morning here at Northeast uh, Valley Healthcare Corporation to provide some very much needed supplies to members in our community that many of whom uh, have uh, tested positive or are struggling with trying to help protect their families from COVID-19. You know, as we continue to learn the impacts of COVID-19, particularly how it has impacted uh, communities of color, here in the community of Fukuyama and in the greater Northeast San Fernando Valley, we know we have families that are desperately seeking some of the supplies that are often not available at many of our local retail establishments. I wanna thank the members of my team for helping to put together and assemble these desperately needed resources for members of our community to help them get through this difficult time of this pandemic and making sure that they are helping to prevent the further spread of COVID-19 in our community. In LA County, these households, households that are just like ours here in the Northeast are twice as likely if, uh, to be infected and to also perish from contact and exposure. And so it is really incumbent upon all of us in the community to come together and help provide these much needed resources in our neighborhoods to assure that we can make so, so that we can assure that our families are protected, are safe, and uh, help contain the spread of COVID-19. We know that in our communities, we have many families that are multi-generational that because of the cost of living, they are forced into more close quarters and thereby more uh, able to uh, exchange and share uh, the exposure. It is for that reason that amongst the items that are contained in these COVID-19 kits, we have not only assembled uh, reusable masks that are of high grade quality to help assure that they're preventing the spread, but we have included dis disinfectant spray uh, and multilingual information cards with CDC recommendations for preventing the spread in multi-generational households, as well as reusable, reusable gloves that can be used for helping to disinfect some of the more chronic exposure areas. These kits, we hope, will help arm and protect our families from further exposure and spread, and so that they can continue to provide support and protections to their loved ones during these critical times. I'm proud to partner with Northeast Valley Healthcare Corporation, an organization that has been no stranger to serving the community of Fukuyama and the surrounding neighborhoods, an organization that has been the lifeline for many families to access to healthcare that they would otherwise not have. And so it gives me great pleasure to introduce the Chief Operating Operations Officer for the Northeast Valley uh, Healthcare Corporation, Teresa uh, Nitescu. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you, uh, Councilwoman Rodriguez. Um, and by the way, my nickname is Missy, so you all can call me Missy. Uh, we're grateful to Councilwoman Rodriguez for providing COVID-19 care kits, which provide families in our community with tools and information to reduce the spread of this disease. As we navigate this pandemic together, residents in the San Fernando and Santa Clarita Valley can count on Northeast Valley to provide high quality and safe health care, regardless of income, insurance coverage and legal status. At Northeast Valley, we're committed to ensuring our communities can access high quality and safe health care services. Data has demonstrated that COVID-19 has disproportionately impacted communities of color. Low income communities are also affected disproportionately. Uh, being impacted by this pandemic due to individuals being unable to self-isolate as a result of overcrowded living conditions, multi-generational families, and persons experiencing homelessness. We urge our patients and our community to seek health care 
If they have concerns about this virus or any other health issue, it is important not to delay care if needed and still seek preventative services to stay healthy. We're now offering, uh, Northeast Valley is now offering virtual visits by telephone and telehealth. We also continue to see patients um, in person as needed. Northeast Valley has been here for the residents of Pacoima for the last 47 years, and we will continue to, to be here for the residents. Thank you very much. And thank you again, Councilwoman Rodriguez. Thank you, Missy. Um, and again, you know, <clears throat> we know that poverty, income inequality, and access to health care was a pandemic long before COVID-19 arrived. And this institution has been paramount to making sure that members of our community had access and support during the most critical and vulnerable times. It is for that reason that they are one of the organizations that I've chosen to partner with to help make sure that we are distributing these kits to the families who need them the most, that we can help connect our families to the resources they so desperately need during these difficult times. And while we continue as a city, as a state, and as a country to battle at the forefront of COVID-19, it is really these local partnerships that are helping to connect our families to supporting them where they have the greatest need. And so I'm very proud to have assembled these uh, opportunities for our community so that we can together get through this pandemic. Again, I wanna thank the members of my team who did an outstanding job of helping to procure all of the items that are necessary for these families that have had the exposure so that we can continue again in multi-generational households, suppress the, any further spread of COVID-19. And these kits, I believe, will be a very uh, necessary part of how we combat the further spread here and hopefully get to a point where we can uh, suppress and eradicate and help families uh, resume their quality of life. So again, my thanks to you all for, for your service and your support here for being an incredible partner and uh, source of critical service for members of our community. My, my deepest gratitude to you all. Um, and. Uh, you know, my blessings to the members of our community that are struggling with this. And we invite you all to please reach out for support when you need it, uh, either from my office or from our local partnerships here. So thank you all very much.